Hey guys, so welcome to another story time with your girl Ashley B. What's good? So today we're going to be talking about how I almost sliced off half of my finger. This was like a very traumatic experience for me, but it is what it is. One night I was talking to my mom, I was eating shot at my mom, and your girl decided that she wanted a glass of wine. Mind you, it was like after 10, after 11, but I wanted a glass of wine. So I went to the kitchen, I tried to open a bottle of wine, and the cough was not budging, but I was determined, okay? I continued trying to take out the cork, and before you know it, the mouth of the bottle broke right off, and the hand that got cut slid and tore off like half of my finger. I'm here, I'm bleeding, I'm panicking, and then my mom's on the phone, and you know what? This woman starts yelling at me. She is over it, and I understand why, because actually, I cut myself like at least once a week from knives. I am bad lucky with knives. I rush, maybe when I cook, or I hold the knife wrong, either or, I'm always cutting myself. So she was just like over it, and she's yelling at me, and I'm just like there freaking out. The adrenaline is pumping. I'm, I started bleeding like crazy, okay? Like it was a friggin' crime scene in that house. I'm running all over the place because I'm looking, I don't have any first kids, I don't have no band-aids, nothing. So I'm just like, what do I do? What do I do? Running up and down. It's so funny because I'm, I'm literally bleeding out, yo. But I'm like trying to be so careful trying to not get blood everywhere. I came into my room, which I didn't even want to come in my room because yeah, I'm bleeding. So I didn't want my blood everywhere. And I went to my drawer because I had some washcloths, but these washcloths are white, okay? So I'm like, nope. And then I found like a red washcloth. I was like, yes. But I took that and I wrapped my finger and I went back in the kitchen and I'm just like freaking out, okay? I don't know what to do. My mom decided to call my uncle. Mind you, my uncle lives right behind me. So I could have literally gone over there by myself, but no, have my mom in the US call my uncle, you know, because I'm dying apparently. I'm walking up and down and then she comes back on the line and she was just like, you know, my uncle's coming over. So I started panicking more because there's blood everywhere. I'm like, you know, time to clean. So I proceed. <laughs> To clean up the blood from everywhere, the floor, the counter. I started cleaning before he came. I don't know what's wrong with me, but anyway. So he comes in and he's just like, what happened? Okay, he run through the door with band-aids and um, salve and he's just like, what happened? And I'm like, I cut my finger. So he looks at my finger and he's just like, how did this happen? And I'm like, I try to open a bottle of wine. It broke. And then he thought like the bottle exploded all over or uh, he asked me if I hit the bottle against the counter which I don't know why but I was like no I'm literally trying to open the bottle and the mouth of the bottle alone came off. So you look at the bottle because it was still standing there on the counter and he's just like how the hell did this happen? And I'm like I have no idea and he just watches me he watches the bottle and he's just like you're way too strong and well he i have a tendency of slamming doors i always tend to slam his, do his door often when i come out of his car so i know he's just like bro this girl is way too strong for her own good i'm not boasting like literally i just my hands think for itself basically but anyway so he helped me bandage my finger and everything um, cleaned it out or whatever then he looks at me he was just like after three hours you're gonna change it that was it. He went his way and I'm there by myself. I'm like lost. I don't know what to do. And I'm dreading those three hours, okay? Because I know it's gonna be so much pain to change the band-aid. So I'm sitting there with my mom. She kept me company. She apologized. Because <laughs> she didn't she couldn't see exactly how bad my finger was. Cause there was just like blood all over it but i know i saw flesh or maybe a bone and i started getting scared that's like the first time i've ever seen so much blood in front of me you ever been in a situation where you're just like you can't believe that something happened to you like you never thought that that thing would have happened to you but it happened so i i was going through that i felt like i was in a dream so i'm sitting there and then three hours it's like midnight at this point 
it was time to change a band-aid. Almost did not, but I was so scared because I did not want it to get infected whatsoever. I was just like, okay, I have to change this band-aid. That was the most excruciating pain ever that I've ever felt because what happened was the, I had like a piece of skin and it was stuck onto the band-aid. So while I'm trying to take that band-aid off, the skin is pulling and everything is just a bur like a burning sensation and I was dying. Like it took me like half an hour just to get that band-aid off. That's how serious it was because I had to take my time. I ended up getting the scissors, cutting the band-aid in half on my finger, trying to do the most, trying to get that off. And yo, I started crying. I started cursing. I don't ever curse while my mom is near me or on the phone or whatever. I was in so much pain. And my mom was just like, Ashley, calm down, calm down. You don't have to take it off. You don't have to take it off. If you know what, don't take it off. <laughs> and I'm like, the terminal was like, no, I gotta take it off because I had to put a clean bandaid over it. And when I was done, it started bleeding again. Like, started bleeding all over this thing. I had to go get tissue. The washcloth at this point was on the floor. I don't know how it ended up on the floor, but it was on the floor. So I started getting paper towels, wrapping my finger, and trying to stop the bleeding. Luckily, when my grandma came, my mom sent me two powders. She sent me zinc and she sent me um, sulfur. And zinc apparently is good for wounds. So she had me throw some on there and that helped it so much because it stopped the it didn't stop the bleeding completely but it slowed it down and it started drying up the wound so i did that and then i put my band-aid over it and um it was still bleeding so i did not want to go to bed with it bleeding so i put a, a plastic bag over my hand yeah that was it during the night the next day, um, again, I had to go through the same procedure, try to take off the band-aid. It took me another 20 minutes. And um, at that point, you know, I started cleaning it with water and everything, but it was just not looking right. It was blue and then it just looked like a whole mess of infection and it wasn't infected, but because of the powder and then the blood and then the dry blood and it was blue, everything it just looked like a big mess it was swollen even and so i showed my mom and she was just like yeah ashley you need to go see about that asap so i called my brother at this point because to kind of really understand why my uncle didn't take me to the hospital that same night is because he's a handyman he does a lot of work around the house outside the house and he cut himself probably like every day and it's like nothing for him when he looked at me and he saw that i got a cut like that like he didn't really think anything of it or that it needed any kind of attention but yeah so i called my brother and he had a doctor he called up the doctor he had he asked him some questions about if i needed stitching if it's infected um what did i did whatever and then he told my brother to take me to the clinic you know my brother took me to the clinic now this is where it gets so interesting let me just tell you i can't tell you okay it's better that i show you Good night. Good night. How may I help you? So I got an injury, so I just came in to get it checked out. What is your name? Yes, Ashley B. And your address? Could you repeat that for me? Where is your address? Sorry, I'm hearing impaired. Can you say that clearly for me, please? Where is your address? Uh, oh, number 17, Neverland. I just take this and go sit down and they will call you. Okay, thank you. Ashley B. Yes, that's me. Good night. Why are you here? So I just came in because I got an injury last night and I just came in to make sure that it doesn't get infected. So why I didn't come in the first night to that one? Well, because it was after hours and it was just me. I didn't have anybody else to bring me. So it had nobody that could have bring you? No. Why 
when I know we can't do nothing for that tonight, right? Okay, well, I just want to make sure that it doesn't get infected, that's all. She probably might need some stitches. That one had a real washout. Alright, take this and go outside and wait. Alright, thank you. Ashley B. Yes. Alright, just sit down right there. Yeah. Not there, sit down right there. No, right across there. No, go wrong again. Right. Ashley B. Yes. So why are you here today? Oh, I got an entry last night and I just came in just to make sure that it doesn't get infected. So why you didn't come in the same time it happened? Because like I told the lady outside, um, I didn't have anybody else to bring me, so it was just me. I know we can't do much, right? Can you say that again? I'm here in a bit. Could you repeat that? I say I know we can't do much, right? Say that one more time, please. You were supposed to come in the same time it happened. The most we could do is give you some antibiotics, that's it. Say that one more time, please. I said the most we could do is give you some antibiotics, that's it. That's fine. You know, I just want to make sure that it didn't get infected. So that's fine. Alright, take this. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're right here. All right. See ya, hon. All right, see my gallo fever tomorrow, I'm saying, but that's about it. All right, thank you. All right. I mean, honestly, I was so annoyed at this point after I finished. I started texting all my friends. If I was dying, I would have preferred to just die instead of coming in here. This is my second time in the hospitals in Trinidad and it's the absolute worst. I mean, if you don't like your job, quit. Like, you know what the job entails, but these people are acting like you're begging them to examine you. You know, like, that's not their job. Like. I was so angry at that point, but it was just like whatever. And on top of that, they didn't even send me home with anything besides a prescription. They didn't send me like band-aids or they didn't, they didn't do nothing to my wound, man. They didn't clean it, they didn't tie it up, they didn't do anything. And honestly, never me again. I'm gonna, from now on, I'm trying my absolute best to do what I gotta do and do it very carefully without injuring myself because I cannot, I cannot, okay.